This episode of Snake Bites brought to you by Critters Crumble. Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. Have you ever wondered why some adult animals look so radically different than babies? Well, we're going to show you some examples of that and try to even look at some theories why it happens. You're watching Snake Bites. Take a look at this baby corn snake. It's amazing the contrast on this animal, not to mention the vibrant colors. But it's interesting because adults don't quite have as much contrast. Let's take a look at one of those. As you can see, as an adult corn snake, they go through a lot of color change. That really high contrast fades away and they almost become two shades of the same color with a little bit of black in them. Now what's interesting is a lot of animals go through color changes and there's really normally three reasons for it. It's mimicry, camouflage, or attracting a mate. With reptiles, I don't think attracting a mate has much to do with it, but I do think that camouflage does have a lot to do with a lot of the color changes from babies to adult. I just want to show you guys some of the cool examples of that. Part of owning a pet snake is certainly knowing not only what it's going to look like as a baby, but also as adults so that you're not disappointed. Take for instance this Columbian rainbow boa. When they're babies they have these really cryptic patterns, really brilliant. But as you can see, when they get to adults, the pattern fades out and they become predominantly a brown snake. Now I still really like the looks of an adult Columbian rainbow boa, but you can certainly see if you bought this really cool baby and were expecting it to stay that way, you'd be disappointed. And the one thing we don't want you guys to do is raise up a snake and be disappointed and not care for it properly because you didn't get the animal that you wanted. So make sure you know what your babies look like when they reach adulthood. Green tree pythons are certainly one of the most extreme examples of color changes when it comes to reptiles. I don't have any baby green trees, but as you can see by these pictures, they're extremely bright yellow and red as babies. And at about six months of age, they start to change into their adult color, which is vibrant green. Now this is certainly an example of camouflage. These animals hatch out on the ground and spend the majority of their time around the flowering foliage. So the yellow and red pigment is certainly perfect for high in those flowering trees. But as adults, they move up into the canopy where its majority is green. It's perfect camouflage for not only saving them from predators, but also for them ambushing their prey. So I got some really cool things for Christmas this year. It was a pretty good year. It's not always that case. People like to give weird gifts sometimes. Like for one, one year, I gave a gay friend of mine a pregnancy test as kind of a joke. It was pretty funny. Um, we want to know what the weirdest, most inappropriate, funny gift you've ever gotten or given to someone. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. So here we are, week two of the Critters Crumble Reptile and Small Animal Bedding Giveaway, where you can win a three month supply of animal bedding. Now the first week, it was all about why you guys should win, and there was some great responses, but only one person could win, and here's that winner. So make sure to check your inbox. You're about to get a three month supply of Critters Crumble Reptile and Small Animal Bedding. Now this week, it's all about a photo contest. Make sure that you like both Snake Bites and Critters Crumble Facebook page, and tag us in the coolest animal photo that you have and you can win a three month supply. When thinking about animals that go through extreme color changes, one animal really comes to mind. It's an animal that I used to work with but I no longer keep, and that's the Bismarck ring pythons. As you can see as babies, they have fluorescent orange bands and contrasting black. But as they reach adulthood, they turn kind of a brown, uglyish color. They're still really cool and the iridescence is awesome, but they're certainly not as vibrant as they were as babies. Now I'll be honest, I have no idea why these animals change this color. I can't imagine camouflage with a bright orange and black animal as a baby, but if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Go ahead and comment down below. Leopard geckos are an interesting animal and certainly go through a lot of change from juvenile to adulthood. Now this isn't a baby leopard gecko, but you can still see the babies and even the small juveniles like this will have more of a banded pattern, whereas the adults as they get bigger, they lose that banded pattern and become mainly freckled out like this guy right here. Now, I don't know really what the reasoning for that is, but there's certainly a big change in leopard geckos. Black milk snakes are a great example of dynamic color change. As babies, they're a tri-colored milk snake, almost like a Honduran, but they don't stay that way for long. 
as you can see, when they get to adult, they just turn solid black. Now, my theory on this is that with babies, they're actually mimicking poisonous snakes like coral snakes, and that's why they're red, black, and yellow. But as adults, they're actually from montane areas, so maybe they need that black color to absorb the sun. I don't know, what do you think? Am I right about that? For some reason, a lot of rat snakes go through radical pattern and color changes. This Everglades rat snake is a perfect example of it. As a baby, it's basically a grayish animal with lots of pattern. You can see their pattern changes from saddles to actually more of a striping, but what's really incredible is all the orange that comes out as they get to adulthood. Most of the animals I've showed you so far look a lot better as babies than they do adults, but with king rats it's the exact opposite. As you can see with the babies, they're relatively bland animals. They don't have much pattern or color at all. But as they get to adult, they go through a pattern and color change. You can see just the bright yellows and blacks in the animal and speckled all the way down, looking nothing like the juveniles. Bear rat snakes as babies are relatively bland animals. They're kind of a grayish tan color with a lot of patterning. Now these guys are from the Texas and upper Mexico area, so it makes a lot of sense as babies because they'll blend right in with the rock outcroppings and stuff like that. As adults, you can see they start to lose their pattern, but what's amazing about bear rats is all the pinks, yellow, and oranges start to come in. So it's interesting that some animals are much better looking as adults, and some are much better looking as juveniles. The fact is, is that if you're going to buy an animal, make sure you know what it's going to look like through its whole life so that you make sure you make the right decision for you. Josh, did you do this? No, it's probably your secret Santa. <laughs> I forgot we were doing that. It's a good thing George isn't here. Why did we do it after Christmas? Brian thinks that everybody will get them better gifts because all the after Christmas sales, so. No. Oh. What'd you get? The note says, mmm, mmm, munch on these tasty nuts. <laughs> it has to be chewy. Probably. Hey guys. I'm getting really tired of this. Maybe if I just ignore him, he'll go away. Not likely. Josh! I, I can't do this anymore. I just can't. What well, now? He got me a log. Read the note. I got this wood thinking of you. Stick it in your fireplace to heat things up. Nice. That's not nice. That's inappropriate. I gotta take care of this right now. Back me up. Okay. What the hell is this? Got the note. It's a damn beaver. I don't give a shit about the note. You should. If you feel lonely this holiday season, pet your beaver and feel better. Chewy! <laughs> Chewy, what the hell is this? This is stupid. I can't take it. I'm gonna have to file a sexual harassment charge against you, and you're gonna end up going to jail, and you're gonna get raped in jail. How about that? What, Toots? What did I do? Whatever, like you didn't get me nuts and a log and a beaver for Secret Santa. No, I didn't get you beaver and log and nuts. I'm not even your Secret Santa. Yes, who, then who do you have? It's Secret, stupid. Okay, that's because you have me and you just won't say it. I'm not telling. It's Secret Santa. Just tell her, man. Okay, you want to know? It's Josh. Thanks for the socks, man. You're welcome, Josh. But since screw ruin the surprise, here's your other present. What is it? Seasonal nip hangers. Thanks. No problem. So if you have Josh, and Josh has Brian, and I have George, who the hell is my secret Santa? And I know George has me, because that kid can't keep a secret for shit. Brian has Lori, because he had me go pick up all of her gifts. So it has to be Lori? Lori, were you my secret Santa? Yeah, how'd you like your gifts? They're nice, but I, I, I don't get it. You don't get it? Well, let's see. First, I got you the nuts, because I know you're a vegetarian and you could always use more protein. And then the wood, you were just saying how cold your apartment was, and I figured, hey, we'll go ahead and burn the wood and warm it up. And then the beaver, he's so cute, and I know how much you'd like to have a real one for a pet, so you can't do that. I figured the stuffed one would be a good replacement. Okay, well, thank you. That, I guess it was just a weird misunderstanding. And I guess someone owes someone an apology. I'm sorry, Chewy. That's okay. But just because I have a nice beard and I'm old doesn't mean I'm creepy. If I was your secret Santa, I would have got you this. 
Ooh. Hey, Chewy, they fit, man. For this week's comment of the week, the question was, what's your animal attack story? And Jeff XL12 said, When I was a kid, I used to catch several dozen snakes in the week during the summer. I have been bitten by almost every snake in Massachusetts except for the rattlesnake, which are rare. I went over to my godparents' house one day. They had a hamster and told me not to put fingers in cage because it would bite. Guess what? Yup, you guessed it. In goes my thumb. That was the worst bite I've ever had, and I cried like Chewy. Why don't grown-ups just say touch it so we won't? Yeah, I tell you what, I certainly have some horror stories with hamsters as well. And yes, you should always listen to Grown Ups. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It's truly amazing some of the color changes that these animals go through. And from all of us here at the Snake Bites crew, we want to wish you guys a safe and happy new year. If you want to follow our escapades, make sure to hit us up on Twitter at Snake Bites TV. And now you can even follow some of the crew at the URLs right down below. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites. From all of us here at Snake Bites TV, we want to wish you a half and safe. <laughs> My gosh, you gotta be good. A, a half, half and safety new year. <laughs> a half and safety, safety new year.